He said, but you're judging me. I said, well, I'm not judging you, but I'm not used to people liking what I say. <laughs> I just, I just, it's so unusual. Usually if you're taking notes, you have a pencil and a paper, and he just went like that. And uh, I said, I, I, I'm not really judging you. I said, uh, but I'm glad to know. He said, well, I'm, I'm giving you more attention than you even thought I was giving you. I'm taking it all down, and I'm going to write articles on this. I said, okay. He said, but there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything. So I thought he was just texting and saying, uh-huh, just to, you know, please an old man standing there. But he was actually doing what, he, he was actually doing something progressive there in taking down notes on uh, Bible truth. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou charitably. So if, if you know more and you know your limits as, as a Christian, you know your Bible and what is really right and what is really wrong, and this new Christian starts judging you, but be charitable to him and give him the benefit of the doubt is what he's saying here. Give him time to understand. And so he says here, uh, that if he be grieved with thy meat, because you eat the meat, uh, now walkest thou not charitably. It says, destroy not him with thy meat. In other words, some people, oh, you don't like that. Well, I'll just do more of it. Ha, ha, ha. Don't taunt people with uh, their liberties, as it were. Just be quiet. You can eat the meat later. You don't have to start something. I mean, how many have ever met smart aleck people that just they stick the knife in and then they want to turn it, you know, every which way? So don't do that. Don't destroy uh, him with thy meat for whom Christ died. And then he says, Let not then your good be evil spoken of. And then verse 21 to, uh, to the end of the chapter reinforces all that we have said here. And, uh, but let's finish up. The clock is moving fast. Over in John chapter 4, and uh, you can read those other verses, 21 to 23, and it really tells us to grow in faith. No matter what we do, it tells us to, whatever we do, make sure it helps us grow in faith, 21 to 23. But here we see what we have to do. In uh, John 4, 31, woman at the well story, it says, in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, Say, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have what? I have meat to eat. Did Jesus eat meat? Well, sure he did. Fish, right? Lamb. And uh, to eat that you know not of. I have meat that you know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Hath any man brought him aught or anything to eat? Jesus saith unto them, My what? My substance, my meat, is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Verse 31 to 34. And so this is what we need to do is for me, destroy not the work of God. Or for anything, destroy not. Don't get detoured from our service. Even in the holidays, use them as holy days. Not, not time off, but time serious time of contemplation about the coming of our Lord and his coming back again as well. And I enjoy the holidays. I don't see too many signs of uh, pure idolatry, but it, it doesn't take uh, but a little while for things to get out of hand, does it? So we must remain a conservative, Bible-believing Christian and uh, do all things decently and in order, as it says in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40. So, Lord, we thank you for the, uh, the days that we're involved in again. All these many years, they come and they come, and they keep coming, they keep coming. So help us to uh, be good servants of the Lord. And when we decorate, when we entertain, when we feast, and when we fast, may we uh, do it just for Jesus. We thank you for Paul's writings these 2,000 years later and all the changes that have come around the world concerning the birth of Jesus Christ. So keep the story strong. May Jesus be the center uh, of all attention, bringing back 
uh, to be the focal point of our society in America. So help us to be strong in the faith now and, and help us to find Christians that don't know what we know. And the young man, Matthew, uh, help him, Lord, to dig into the Bible and see things he's never seen before. Thank you for this time together. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's stand and turn the page to what? 119. 119. Destroy not the work of God. For nothing, no reason is good enough to destroy the work of God. 